All right, and welcome back to Snack Play Love, where today I'm doing a mini stream and um, essentially just going to play one brawl on um, Storybook Brawl, which is the new game we have been really enjoying. Um, I'm just going to get Twitch notifications telling me to do the thing I'm doing already, which is awesome, guys. Oh, so we've got Sad Dracula again, so I'm just going to hit the Sad Dracula and carry on. So um, essentially, there are um, three characters over here, there's 16 of those, and there's 16 paid characters. We've bought three so far. When this hits 4,000, I will buy another one. I want to keep the 100 in the back pocket in case I decide that I suddenly love a character and um, wish to buy it immediately. The point of having Sad Dracula is that um, whenever our creatures kill another creature, their attack goes up on our buy one permanently. And so near the front row, which uh, is something I failed to take into account previously because um, it meant that my support characters were not going to grow, which is good. Um, well, we could go for some gold. We could go for doubly because the bonus is double. In fact, let's, I reckon the slay bonus is a double. I'm going to lock that. So that is a dwarf support face, and we've got another free roll. Let me just check the cameras are lining up. Um, yeah, I'm roughly in shot. The audio was really strange on the previous video I did, but I don't know whether it was because I did a two hour video. Oh, we lose. Um, or because um, it was trying to compete and compress. Do we want any of these? No dwarves, no monsters. We'll let it roll. So, for those of you who didn't see either of the two previous videos, depending on whether I put the second one up or not, probably won't, um, Storybook Brawl is an auto battler. You have seven slots to put creatures, um, characters even. This is the front row and this is the back row. The back row is for support and range characters really. You also have a hand which I'm calling the garden because that's where it is and those are your ones that are not in play. As the game starts you basically go shopping and you buy lots of characters to go in and sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. Um, that if we buy a princess will power up quite quickly. This um, if we do manage to trigger the slay abilities, will be quite good. Um, I want to power up an evil character, but I do like this risky strategy. So this gives us an initially terrible selection of cards, but if this manages to kill anything ever, then um, it becomes a good thing. It probably won't happen this time, but it might do eventually. And if we buy a princess, this becomes a better than two gold 5-5, five five, which is very nice in the early game, which we are in. Um, we are on 37 health, the same as our opponent, who is the snowman, who will be casting spells on their creatures to great effect. So the range thing kills our guy straight away. The egg kills our thing, but also cracks. Um, the egg never comes back, so he's just lost a character, but we have lost the battle. So but we've also leveled up to level 3. Now, when you cast a spell, gain one attack permanently. It's reasonable. These dwarves are very good because um, we do want a bit of treasure. There's no... I know there is a princess, but it's a 3. So I would have to sell one of my things to get the princess. So I think I'm going to dump the polywoggle, buy the princess, which turns that into a 5-5. Five five. That's got a boost because of this, but we haven't got the treasures boost. Um, if we lock our row of the shop, then Crafty will still be there when we come back, so we can buy our second Crafty and start to build towards a little bit of a Dwarves build. What we actually want to build with um, Sad Dracula is things with a high toughness and low attack and then gradually they slay more and more things and their attack grows to match their health and we have some beast beasty beasty monsters i think this works best with trees but um, this person has a lot of creatures um, we are going to struggle yep 
with her um, slayability back row lady didn't even get to attack. So um, nothing we're playing with is good. Um, good as in the ability good. Uh, I don't know. I think we'll do that. Pop this here and let these disappear. I I really liked Brave Princess when I was playing against the computer. That seemed to be a fantastic card. Playing against humans, it just doesn't seem to cut it. Um, that is unfortunate. So doubly should be a 5-5 five five due to these bonuses, but it has got 6 because it has killed 3 creatures, so its attack is now 11. If we, we've got 28 seconds, swap those around, you'll see what I mean. It's actually a 7-1. But here, um, it gets its plus 2 plus 2 doubled and becomes an 11-5. The slay ability plus one attack when it triggers on doubly becomes plus two attack which is why I picked it up as a lowly 1-1 one, one, and it's now an 11-5. It dies pretty much when it attacks to anything but it still triggers its slay ability and gains some more attack. Merlin's ability is double spells. Um, well more accurately every spell it casts um, causes creatures to get boosted. That is the card we want, the Shadow Assassin. It's a level 3 thing. Um, uh, ranged attack kills us. We were one off there. One one attack by us, the other order would have done um, better. Um, do we just wish upon a star? I think we do. So now we're a level higher and if we cycle the um, creatures we will see new stuff. Um, hmm. See, neither of these are good or dwarf. And there's dwarf, but we're level four now. There's very few reasons why I would want that. This, um, if it manages to slay something, which is going to be pretty difficult as it stands, as a 1-1, one, one, then we get a level 5 out of the deal. So I'm going to put it in instead of that dwarf in the back row. And cross my fingers. We're against the person who's the bottom, but we have played that person already, and I think we lost. Um, so they've just got a treasure because they've dropped low on health. And they might have wanted to deliberately drop low on health. I don't know. But um, I've never tried that strategy. Okay, they have got decent stuff. Well, that was pathetic. And that was pathetic. Okay. Come on. No! If my thing would have attacked their thing, then we would have got the slay ability. As it stands, we are now bottom. But the shop has some exciting things in it. This is good, in inverted commas. Um, and it is also decently powerful. I think she might be slaying stuff, because we do seem to be levelling up quite fast. I don't think the Dwarf Crafty is working out for us, because we haven't managed to... Um, princes or princesses. Um, we haven't actually managed to get anything to trigger on treasures. Let's have a look what's in the shop. Hmm, this guy again. Hmm. Whenever one of your characters survives damage, it gets plus attack. Support plus five health. Um. I'm just going to lock it and have a think. Because that would give him plus 10 health, so he'd be a 15-15, which at this point in the game is formidable, but it only takes one bad hit or one bad ability to knock him out. And we'd essentially be dedicating three slots on the board to um, having that. That's unfortunate. So yeah, just swinging into that, he would have survived. Um, yeah, we don't have any more puff puffs yet. 
So that was a reasonable evil team, and they're not even top of the board. And we locked that, so that's probably a bad move. Um, don't think we're doing too well, folks. We're going against another decently high person. I think I'm going to ignore my um, previous instinct and try and roll for something actually capable. Mm. Okay, so that's what we actually needed the whole game. So we're going to start dumping stuff to get that. Um. Don't really need the good animal prints. I'm going to go for a free roll off that. No. Doubly doesn't need to be there now. Doubly can be first. could have done with buying one of those better dwarves to replace crafty because we just have not managed to get any treasures and that's sometimes what happens you need three of the same to get a treasure or complete the quest on one of these but um, oh I didn't even see what we killed there so yeah we lost our um, 17 attack thing to a cat 4-3 mm, Four three, gradually getting up there. Go on, kill the one one. Get the trick trick trigger. And again, yep. Don't think it's going to survive that. No. Oh, ranged. Oh, one hit off surviving against one of the top players. Now we've leveled up. Um, that's a bonus slayability. ability. Should have thought about that last time. Um, we do really need to see what else is going on. That, that takes damage for us, doesn't it? That would kill us. We probably shouldn't do that. Um, it would be funny to die in the shop. I've not done that yet. That's pretty good. Um, I think it's safe to say the doubly strategy is failing miserably. Fifteen one dwarf is absolutely fine. Um, we're, against, we're against grandma. Might stand a chance. It depends what level six we get off our four four dying. Look at me all tense. I might have a second go after this. Oh. Wow. Pumpkin? That's quite bad for a mostly good team. Oh, actually, no, we got some reasonable things. And it died to range attack. But we did kill that. Ugh. Didn't survive damage. Hey, killed the thing. Oh, okay. Did we eliminate them? No, we did not. But we did actually win one, so um, I don't feel like such a bad person now. Um, sold one of these, didn't we? <sighs> I mean, if we could get that upgraded, it would be good. Puff Puff needs to be bought. I don't know why I sold both of those. 8, 8, and 12, 11. Hmm. There's some very reasonable things here. Keep Grandpa. I mean, what do I bin to get that? 
Is good support just not good enough? I think it is. He's not going to get double slay if he's on the back row, though. Mm. Okay. Didn't look to see. Oh my god. So much ranged attack. Well, we got to try our first treasure. Oh, those are atrocious. Nope, I think we're going home, guys. Yep. Just that little bit too far off there. Everything started to work once we got the um, thing, but I, I, I had one good sad Dracula play. I'm going to stop the recording and then start a new one.